volume. Right. You know, because right. they're a volume institution. Right. Oh, yeah. I mean, if you had intact cases, which we've, we've done a lot, so we've sometimes shipped those back to our lab in its entirety. Produce the volume you need. Yes. Yeah. So that we're not, we're not looking. Oh yes, we can get you this. Yeah. Um, so anyway, that's. Uh, and then when the volume, when we're able to contract with people, that uh, I feel 95, 99 percent sure that we're going to be able to fulfill our side to research this. So many of them think they can, right? So many of them think they have the volume, and it's like not really. And right. So many physicians are like, "Oh, I can totally procure tissue," and they can. <laughs> so it's just it's it's a lot of misinformation. You deal with that quite a bit. Yeah. Well, I think um, since I mean, well, I I was looking on the website a little bit earlier today and just sort of seeing all the different things that you have listed there. I think on the topic on the fetal tissue side of it, mm -hmm. um, you know, it'd be helpful for us to understand volume wise. Mm -hmm. I mean, realistically, if we were to do an agreement with you guys, you know, what do we think you could get? I mean, what do you feel like volume, you could get volume wise? Yeah. Okay. On specifically liver tissue because that's okay. such an area of demand for us. Right. So liver and um, what about intact uh, specimens? Just oh yeah. I mean, if you had intact cases, which we've we've done a lot, so we've sometimes shipped those back to our lab in its entirety. Oh yeah, I mean if you had intact cases, which we've we've done a lot, so we've sometimes shipped those back to our lab in its entirety. Okay. So that would also be great if you have the those. entire case. Yeah. 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 Because okay. it's just again the procurement for us, I mean it can go really sideways mm -hmm. depending on the facility. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And then our samples are destroyed and we're like, really? This was mm -hmm. all so much work. Mm -hmm. And then just to have them be destroyed is awful. Mm -hmm. I mean we have, you know, researchers wait forever and they want certain things perfectly done so you know we started bringing them back even to try to manage it from you know procurement so, expert standpoint what goes wrong tell me what goes wrong that you that um, you think you're getting something and you're and it doesn't come through I think for us you know on for the liver tissue focusing to that piece at least we've seen like doctors provide blood clots you know oh yeah we've got a liver you know they think it's a liver and it's right. a blood clot um so you know we've seen plenty yeah. of those uh we can always tell right away because it's just red water by the time it gets to us mm -hmm. you know so um it's like wow it disappeared <laughs> out of the conical container yeah and there's just so much too um contamination wise is another big issue i mean so um, you know, we've seen all sorts of things, but yeast contamination, um, you know, that can be an issue. Um, you know, we have a number of quality checks we have to go through with things internally, um, you know, just to, to make sure that we're not, you know, investing a bunch of money into trying to isolate cells just to find out that they're contaminated. Mm -hmm. So it's just, um, you know, there's a lot of steps there too that the researchers ask us to do. So, mm -hmm. yeah. And then we'll do testing on our side, so we'll be able to see, you know. <laughs> Sometimes we find that it can be clinic specific. I've seen really rampant, mm. rampant problems with bacteria in certain clinics. <laughs> Some where you're kind of like in question of really should they, you know. Right. I've seen right. staff come out of clinics. So, I mean, I've seen wow. all sorts of things come out of clinics. So, just the different sites that we visit. Yeah, I, can I mean, see yeah, exactly, right? exactly, right? So, um, it's how serious the, the clinics sort of, you know, in their own facility kind of mm -hmm. looking at that too. So, but so then, I mean, on the on the, the range piece, and you know, I mean, I, um, what do you guys feel like you could do on that front? 
maybe. So what would keep your lab happy? Like what would what would make your lab happy? <laughs> Another fifty livers a week. So what would keep your lab happy? Another fifty livers a week. Yeah. <laughs> Five okay. Over. <laughs> okay. So you can handle that. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I mean, it's, it's you know, volume for us. And just so you guys know, too, on the collection side for us, we're also, as you know, as you see Megan out there at clinics, right? I mean, we're working with, you know, almost like triple-digit number clinics. So it's it's a lot on volume. Okay. <laughs> and we still need more mm-hmm. than what we do. Mm-hmm. So it's a lot. Okay. Yeah. So, um... So I don't think you're going to hit a capacity with us anytime right. in the next 10 years. But, well, I mean, mm-hmm. going into it, knowing it has to be financially beneficial yeah. for you. Yeah, and both of us, yeah. right. for sure. Right, and so promising the providers, mm-hmm. um, making it financially beneficial for the clinic. Yeah. Um, everybody has to be doing their job, yeah. and that's yeah. what I'm trying to find out is who needs to be doing what, who hasn't been doing what, how, why has it been a failure financially for yeah. uh, clinics or you or us uh, in solving those problems so that um, everybody's profiting. I feel like there's clinics out there that have been burnt that feel like they're doing all this work for research and they haven't, it hasn't been profitable for them. Really? No, do you feel that way? Sorry, that was... Oh, I thought question. you were saying that. Yeah, no. no. Okay, good. I, yeah, I was going to yeah. say, I, I don't see that either. I feel like there's clinics out there that have been burnt that feel like it hasn't been profitable for them. I was going to yeah. say, I, I don't see that either. I, I, I haven't seen that piece either with that. As you probably know, potentially, I mean, I think that one of... One of the issues with neural tissue is so fragile. Mm-hmm. It's insanely right. fragile. Right. And um, you know, I don't even know. Whenever you're ready, no. Oh, oh, thank you. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, guys. It's very oh, sweet. No um, I was gonna say is that um, I, I I know we get requests for it's the hardest thing in the world to ship. Mm-hmm. Um, you do is the whole calvarium. That's it. Yeah. Yeah. That's the easiest way. And I mean, we we've actually had good success with that in yeah. the past. So, um, like, make sure the eyes are closed. Like, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Tell the lab it's coming. Yeah. Sit all up in the box. Yeah, oh, I God. <laughs> <laughs> I mean. So, um, yeah, where so many of the academic labs cannot fly like that, they're just mm. not capable. Um, Why is that? I don't understand that. It's almost like they don't want to know where it comes from. Yeah. Megan didn't see mm. that. Where they're like, we need limbs, but no hands and feet need to be attached. And you're like... Or they just want the long bones and they don't want to see that they They want you to take it all off. Mm-hmm. Like, make it so that we don't know what it is. Yeah. It's like... Bone the chicken for me and then... That's we'll, it. You know, so and like, then I'll eat it. But, but we know the... what it is. <laughs> yeah. I mean, with their lab... So this goes to that whole stigma. stigma. Oh, yeah. You know, this is... And their their lab techs freak out and have meltdowns, and so it's just kind of like, uh, yeah. And I think, quite frankly, that's why a lot of researchers ultimately some of, some of them get into a lot of other things, right? They want to look at bone marrow, they want to look at adipose, they want to look at a, a, you know adult human kind of adult based sampling because they sort of want to get away from having to publish a picture of a, a, a paper yeah. that says we derived this from fetal tissue. Okay. Do you feel the same kind of support, like from Cecile and from Deborah? And yeah, yo, oh, yeah, and just you know, everyone at PPFA and just you know the affiliates. I mean, I just think you're either in the cause or you're not. Yeah. And if you're not yeah. in the cause, like they don't need you around. You need to get out. They need champions, yeah. and if yeah. you're not a champion, you should go. Yeah. Because that's just um, you know, and and and. I don't know, the clinics, you know, they're very guarded, as they should yeah. be. Yeah. And who do they let in their house? They want champions in their house, right? So it's just, I think it's yeah. that same concept, and ABR has just never truly understood that. Yeah. And I think that it's been sort of the downside, downside to yeah. that. Are you seeing any trends between the independence versus Planned Parenthoods, or your percentage right now breakdown, are you doing, like, is it pretty split evenly, 50-50? It probably is. I don't know. Um, it's, it is different, um, but, you know, I don't know that I could think really one has more pros or cons than the other. I mean, Pen Parenthood has volume. Right. You know, because they're right. a volume institution. I mean, Pen Parenthood has volume. Right. You know, because they're right. a volume institution. Right. 